So a couple months back, I started writing to this girl that I met online, and I think she's kind of into me, for the most part at least. Who could resist, right? Uh, yeah, so we've been writing for a while, and I got a letter from her today, and I just thought I'd share that with you, get your opinion, then disregard that opinion later on when it might prove useful. Any thoughts? Listen, disregard my opinion if you, if you want. See how far that gets you? In regards to this girl, there's no way she's real. I mean, do you really do you really think she's gonna start dating you after exchanging a couple of letters? You're wrong, John. She's real. I can feel it. But what if you're wrong? What if she is just a 67-year-old guy in Pensacola on his computer, trolling around on brony sites, preying on today's youth? And what if she's a 10 out of 10 single girl looking for a serious relationship? <laughs> have you even seen what she looks like in the picture or something? She's got a picture of me, but I don't have a picture of her. I have a little faith, man. Say what you want about Faith, but I gotta meet her for myself. I mean, the least you can do is ask, right? I can write to her later, but I can't guarantee she'll respond. Listen, if she won't meet with you, she's not real. How's that? Deal? Deal.
You know what this means, right? I think I do. Dude, that's perfect. Don't grab anything else. You know you don't have to come with me, right? Yeah, I know. I'm coming to make sure my boy doesn't get heartbroken, which he probably won't. You know, this is a fine line between pessimism and paranoia. I am not a pessimist. You know, there's also a fine line between optimism and delusion. Sorry, what'd you say? Do you know the way, lover boy? Of course I know the way. I stayed up till 2.40 last night looking over the instructions. Straight on Weston Street. Turn left and there she is. It would have taken me five hours to memorize two directions, but... Guys in love. longer to toast it. Beef is a lot denser than deer meat. Like you know how to properly cook burgers without a grill. Besides, you don't toast it. You boil it. Well, their police department doesn't doesn't do them any justice. They're, they're too afraid. Because they don't want to lose any more than they already have. And a guy like Batman, he gets the job done. And most of the time, actually, if you pay attention to the statistics, he rarely kills somebody. But like, you steal from an old lady and you get 37 broken bones? I mean, Don't steal just, from an old lady in the first place. Really do much well, what happens when Superman goes rogue? Batman can't do anything then. Huh? Not even a rogue Batman. How long, is, how long is this guy been following us? The guy standing a mile and a half away? Case in point, you're being paranoid. I'm not paranoid or anything, but can we, can we just let this guy pass? My legs are getting tired anyway. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. What's your opinion on eggnog? <laughs> Glorified scrambled eggs. Shouldn't this guy have passed by now? Strange. You ready to go? I was born ready.
Hey, do you think you could just turn around or leave or something? You're, you're kind of freaking us out. I mean, normal people don't really do what you're doing right now. You're getting freaked out, right? Yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. What, what do you think he wants? Money, power, love, take your pick. Maybe we should call someone. You okay. told me to leave the phone when I was packing. I don't have it. Two kilometers from here. Yeah. Drop the gear, we don't need it. Are you sure? It's a pretty freaking expensive toaster. Toaster? 